hello peeps anyway yes I've been hiding again been busy current class is trying to teach me how to build my web presence for when I actually publish the book it's coming it's closer I'm getting there but it tends to take up a lot of time on some classes more than on others so yeah you're getting kind of short shifted here anyway while I'm doing that thinking about that and possibly even talking I got the Violet Boss, all of you, forever in one of my boxes. And at first I was thinking, okay, there's what, maybe three greeny colors in there? I mean, it says olive. But if you go look up images for olives you'll find pretty much every one of these shades in the images olives are not just green or black you can get purples reds pinks kind of a golden yellow which has got some really good green undertone, but there are all manner of colors when it comes to olives. So yeah, this is a whole lot more olive than you might expect. But I figured, what the heck? I'm gonna play with the olives for a little while. Yes, I'm picking at my hair. I put some gel in it and it's like, now it looks like I've got moose and squirrel in here. Then yes, I've changed the color just a little bit. I did a metallic silver, just for the heck of it. Just for the heck of it. Wanted to see what it looked like. This kind of color is kind of like a haircut. Give it a few weeks. If you don't like it, you can change it. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. We'll have to see. Okay, I've got the e.l.f. putty eye primer on already. Ah, I forgot to peel the sticky thing off a mirror. Such an interesting sound. <laughs> zip, 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 zip. Forgot to take this off the mirror. I've been working on the shelf behind me and fiddling with stuff but right now you know if I left this picture uncropped to cut out things like my computer and all that stuff but if I left it uncropped you'd see just what a mess my space currently is I've been doing all manner of crafts. I've been working on my knitting, my crochet. I've been doing a set, which is a device for making square cords. Um, I'm building a drop spindle because I'm cheap like that. Uh, what else is going on? But in general, my problem is I'm just, I'm not, I'm being bad. I'm not cleaning up 
between projects. Not well enough. I've got my taxes done, so I've still got some of the paperwork from that laying around. Um, it just, I have been slacking since the beginning of the year. Slack and I need to fix it. I don't see that happening real quick. In the meantime, health issues. I'm now on injectables for my diabetes. Ow. Yes, I have to had to learn to stick myself. And not just the finger poke for the for the meter. <sighs> but I'm feeling much better because the the levels are dropping. Sometimes they're dropping like a rock, which can be disconcerting, but they're dropping. I'm still working on cleaning up my book. Still working on tinkering with bits and pieces for the second book. I've got my website started on WordPress, but it's still listed as coming soon as opposed to live because until I'm ready to actually publish the first book, I'm not going live with this thing. Anyway, I'm going, you want me to do what? Build a website. Ah, righty then. And yes, I even mentioned you guys. I tell them that I'm a YouTube creator in my bio for the, for the website. Anyway, this is not getting makeup on my eyes, is it? No. Alrighty. I don't know why I'm doing it this way, but what the heck. I've got wing here, which is really pale. And I'm just going to start here. Now, I'm cheating the brush is angled and all that manner of stuff you know it's like got the angle going and it's just a fluffy little brush so doing a tap 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 here and doing this i'm getting this almost perfect little arc going right across the top in that kind of a pinky beigey thing. Like I said, I don't know why I'm starting there other than it's like, it's been snowing. This is the second full day of doing nothing but snowing here. So I've got a heavier sweater on because it's chilly. And it's pink, so I seem to be going kind of pinky. And I'm going to pick up Wishful, which is the next highest one. It's not much deeper. I'm going to use the same brush. And I'm just going to kind of fiddle with this right here. Now, I'm not kidding. I'm going to put some pictures up, probably to give you something to look at besides just the little blip thing that I usually use to go from, 
oh look, I'm going to go put the rest of my face on. So instead of the little blip, you're going to get, you know, some pictures of olives with all the different colors. Or at least a lot of the different colors. So that it's a little different. You know, I'll give you something a little different to look at. Instead of doing all the same thing. All right, a little bit of a round brush. So I'm going to take this one called Charmed. Bop bar. No, Charmed is over here. Way up there in the top. Next to the, next to the infinity for the black olives. I'll take Charmed, which is a deeper maroon purple, and just keep working all this stuff. Working, working, working. Working, working. And just kind of plop it into the corner here. And we have my husband talking to people in the kitchen to check which dogs are where. We have two little bitty dogs. Our son has two great hork and huge dogs. And we don't normally let the little bitty dogs commingle co with the great big dogs, mostly because the great big dogs are technically little babies and they don't always think before they go after the little bitty dogs who are both senior citizens and kind of fragile. Now one of these dogs, the big dogs, is a cane corso. Anybody who is not familiar with a cane corso, it's an Italian mastiff. And she hasn't even hit her full growth yet. She's still up the other one is part blue tick hound, part pit bull, and God only knows what else. He's an adorable dog. He's a beautiful dog. He's got a gorgeous coat. And then he's got the neck ruff with the blue ticking. And the, the socks with the ticking. and it's, just, it's gorgeous. He's a beautiful dog. But he's another huge puppy who doesn't think before he bowls over the little old dogs. So, yeah, we're not, we're trying to be a little careful when it comes to them running together because I don't want the little dogs hurt. I don't think they would hurt each other on purpose. I think the, the puppies would be very, very sorry if they hurt one of the little old seniors. But that's not going to pay the little old seniors vet bill if they get hurt. So, they all get to go do their own thing. You know, while... The cane corso weighs 
more than my almost 10 year old grandson. Like I said, she's a puppy. She's a baby. She does not realize how strong she is. If the dogs are under control and just speaking to each other and not running around rampaging, she's scared to death of the 10 pounder because he's a senior dog and he speaks like a senior dog. He gets right up in her face and tells her about herself. So, yeah, she's very careful around him when he's barking the hell out of her. Okay, I'm going to use some of the olive glow, which is down here. And start packing this in right at this edge. And blend out towards this darker maroon shade just a tiny bit. See how this works with the brush first. little at a time. Just a tad. And then I'm going to go over here to all of me. Doesn't that sound cute? Doesn't that sound cute? And start working that in this way. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the infinity, the black, and just kind of play with this a little bit. I don't want to go far with the black. I just want to kind of deepen this up a little bit. Even though I've already got deeper colors on here, I just want right here, right there. Right there. Then I'm going to take this one called Lovebird down here. It's kind of a peachy pink. And I'm just going to tap a little bit of it around here just for the heck of it. Because I want to see what it does. Just a little bit of it up here for the heck of it. Do do do. 
so first. All right, I don't hate it. I'm not sure I really like the look I'm coming up with, but let me tell you, this is my first experience with Violet Gloss's formula. I'm pretty good with it. Oh, this is Elf. This is Elf. This is the sheer colored version of their glitter glue. And it's got one of those angle tips with the flat on it. Kind of like some of the face creams and stuff so you can use the use it as an applicator instead of using your thinner i like this stuff i have a thing for elf we all already know i have a thing for elf not a big deal Okay, olive glow, down here in your olive glow, and do this again, just kind of tap that off the brush onto the sticky stuff, sticky, sticky, sticky stuff, sticky stuff. Yes, I'm losing my mind. See, that's what happens when I don't film for a while. I start just randomly kind of blathering along. Not really thinking about what I'm doing. Or even thinking about what I'm saying. And because I forget what I'm doing anyway. Oh, yeah, where was it? The book. My book is somewhere in about four months from hitting. the bookshelves for ebooks. Yes, I'm going ebook. You might be able to publish to pick up a copy in paperback at some point. But the first release is definitely ebook. For one thing, I'm publishing it myself, which means it's a little more expensive because I have to come up with the upfront money for some things. So, ebooks don't really cost much for the upfront stuff because there's not a lot to do. You just kind of, you know, put it up there and let people download it. Well, food. Drop the brush. You just kind of let people download it to suit them. And they can put it on their ebook or on their computer or on their phone, wherever they've got a reader app. Now, doing a actual physical copy. 
is not only more expensive to produce, it's more expensive for the reader. Because while with the ebook, you may be able to pick up a copy of the book at anywhere from 99 cents up, depending on whether or not I'm doing a sale. Um, the physical copies of the books usually start somewhere around six, seven dollars. Which, for some people, that's a little expensive. And I get that. I really do get that. It's the way things work sometimes. The world is not inexpensive. And publishing is not inexpensive. I don't have a contract with a publishing house. I'm doing this on my own because it has become a thing of late that a lot of literary agents are actually going through electronic book offerings to scout for people they want to put under their publishing house. And it's like, okay, now I could spend lots and lots of time sending electronic versions of my bio, my marketing research, and the first chapter of the book to a lot of agents and getting a lot of pieces of paper that say thanks but no thanks now granted that part of the process is likely to happen anyway at some point not with the first book though i want it out i want to get it on the market. I'm just that way. It's like I'm 62. If I was considerably younger, I would probably be more interested in doing the, you know, the, the, the classic version of, of getting I'm not that young anymore. So, yeah, not going there. Not at this point. So, there you go. That's where I've gotten so far. I'm going to run away from here, put some olive pictures in, and um, put the rest of my face on. I'll be right back, sort of. Hello. Yep, I'm back. This is pretty much it. 
got some magnetic lashes on. A little face paint on here and there. Fiddled with the hair some more. Put some earrings on, put a necklace on. Anyway, book's coming. I should probably next week have a few more other suggestions of people to read that are in the inexpensive category on the Amazon listings for ebooks. Go give them a look up. Go give a look up to the ones I've already mentioned. I, I give you information on people that I really, really like to read. I don't, I'm not sponsored by anybody. They don't know who I am. I do let them know that I've done a video and took taken their name in vain while doing it. I've had one respond back, which is kind of neat. But no, I'm just saying, they're really good authors. The stories are wonderful. If you are looking for something to read and are interested in occasionally finding a new author to read by, then yeah, there you go. And since my book is getting closer, hey Angie, start warming up them vocal cords. We'll be talking. Angie from 4F Beauty, who does all those wonderful ASMR videos and has that delightful voice, has discussed with me her doing the narration for the audiobook version of the book. So, yeah, that's kind of interesting. Once the website is live, that'll also be in the description box and everything. And, yep, here's your Violet Boss look. I'll give you a few eyelash pads while we're at it. Anyway, Foundation is Elf, Consquealer is Elf. Eyebrow pencil is elf. Um, blush, bronzer, highlight is natural face palette from Profusion. Um, magnetic eyelashes are from generic. I got it off AliExpress, okay? I'm cheap. We know this. Anyway, by the way, um, Kiss Lashes that are normally at the drugstore has started putting magnetics out. It's only like one pair and the eyeliner, but it's like five bucks. Want to try magnetic lashes? There you go. Um, Lipstick is a combo of a Saint Lux love letter color lip liner that I got out of my most recent boxing. I'm not impressed with the Saint Lux. It is hard. The sharp point on this thing is dangerous to your mouth. It was like it was digging in. Well, 
where Magnetics is trying to escape. I didn't put that much eyeliner on, so. The main color is by Clean Color Femme Lipstick Color Soft Rose. Earrings. There's some of the ones that I showed you how to make that's got the um, funky pose for somebody who's stretched their ears a little bit. I don't have a lot of stretch, but I do have tunnels now, so I have to put a different type of earring in. I did it mainly because a lot of my earrings are on the inexpensive side and tend to mess up my ears for allergies. And it's like, I don't want to go out and buy a boatload of new earrings. I just wanted to get my ears stretched enough so that I could put tunnels in of either acrylic or good stainless steel or titanium Whatever, and be able to use the other earrings with that in conjunction to protect my skin. Um, current class is almost over. I've got, this is week six. The classes are eight weeks. So that one's almost done. And then the next one is on business writing. And that's my son yelling at his dogs. Anyway, stay safe, keep your distance, wash your hands, wear your mask, keep a check on whether or not your local area has your vaccine yet. Yes, I'm going to be vaccinated. There you go. I'm going to get it. Yes, I am. So there. Yeah. I've already gotten my flu shot. And I've gotten my update on my tetanus shot. And I have to go get my shingles shot. Oh my God. I've had shingles. Get the shot if somebody is offering it to you. It's worth it. I did not have insurance at the time when I got the shingles. Did not have. Did not. I couldn't go to the doctor for things like pain relief for the shingles. Let me tell you, you're going to need it. The shingles are evil. They really are. If you thought you were miserable as a kid when you had chicken pox, you ain't seen nothing yet. I still have pain issues where the shingles patches came in. Ow. It just goes crazy every so often. And it's just ow. Anyway, there you are. Don't start nothing. If you start it, there is no bail money. If you didn't start it, I'll help you raise funds. But if you didn't start it, cover your head. Protect your head. Be good. <laughs>